Hi everybody, this is Kurt Hollowell with Doggy Dog Games, and today I'm going to be talking about the panel waveform in our audio visualizer tool. So if you have the tool, you can follow along. I'm just going to go to audio visualizer scenes and open up the audio panel scene, which is what I have right here. Um, what this will do, will create an audio waveform on top of a UI panel. So under my canvas here, here's my panel. There it is, and uh, if I run this, you'll see it'll create a waveform on top of that. Here it is. There's also a circle waveform in, in this scene, but I'm not going to be talking about that in this tutorial. So I'd like to just go over the different uh, input parameters for this script so you guys can um, get an idea of how to make your own effects. Um, the first thing, audio source. Um, that's an index into our audio sampler. Our audio sampler can track multiple audio sources at once and um, they'll be listed here. If there's only one and it's attached to the same game object, that'll auto automatically get put in the list. You'll see here once we hit play. There it is. It's got this audio source. So we just want to index that in our panel. Say we, we want to listen to the first audio source and I want to listen to it on this frequency you have sub bass through very high and then decibel which just gets the raw audio data um, next we have sensitivity this is how sensitive the um, the panel is to the music so you can see here once I run it if this value is very high then you get a lot of high value data high values and if you um, bring this low then you get low values. Sprite, um, this is the actual sprites that get populated in each row in each cell. Um, so right now it's none, so you see there's just like an empty square, but we could also replace this with say a knob sprite and hit play and you'll notice that now we have that knob sprite being populated everywhere. So you can input whatever sprite you want. Um, we can also adjust the number of columns and rows, so if we drop this down to say 10 and 10 um, we'll just have 10 columns and 10 rows in our audio waveform there. And then uh, there's X and Y spacing to demonstrate this. So I'm going to bring the sprite back to none. I might as well bring these back as well. So this is just how far apart each sprite is spaced. So um, right now they're evenly spaced. They have a little one unit spacing in between each one. But I could say, let's not space them on the X, let's only space them in the Y and you'll get an audio waveform that looks like that. Or you could say no spacing at all. And there won't be any spaces between the sprites there. Uh, finally, we have bottom color and top color. This is um, when the panel waveform, it creates a gradient of colors from the bottom to the top. So if we change these to say blue, and uh, blue at the bottom and red at the top, we'd get something that looks like this. There you are, blue at the bottom, and then once it gets higher to the top, you'll notice it gets red. Yep. Finally, we have this update rate parameter. Basically, this is says update the panel waveform every X frames. So every second frame, it's going to update this. Uh, if we change this to 1, then every single frame it'll update the waveform but a lot of times that's almost too fast for the eye to see it just looks kind of crazy noise so if we won't really want to change this to two or three maybe even five depends on what kind of effect you're trying to create So there you go, that's the panel waveform, um, really quick. Here's our website, doggydoggames.com, where you can find out about more of our games, tools, and also get support for the tools. Um, and here is the tool, if you haven't gotten it yet, on the Unity Asset Store, just search for audio visualizer. Alright, I hope that helped, and have a good day.